Sterility testing is one of the most critical controls before the release of sterile drug products. Deviations always lead to extensive investigation and product waste. Partnering with the right suppliers helps to ensure the security and reliability of your sterility test results. SCAN provides leading aseptic isolator solutions for the global pharmaceutical industry. Our team of specialists has extensive experience in containment applications. Besides supplying high-quality isolators, we also support customers with complete solutions, from design qualification to performance qualification. The results of our research and development are valued and accepted all over the world. Upon arrival, all sample information is logged before the samples are transferred to the sterility testing area. Depending on the pharmacopoeia requirements, sterility tests may be performed in a clean room or in an isolator. The SCAN PSIM is an isolator specifically designed for sterility testing. Another excellent choice is the SCAN FOG STI, which offers fast fogging technology. Appropriate gowning procedures must be followed, regardless of whether the isolator is located in a classified area or not. After cleaning with a detergent and disinfection, the isolator chamber is ready to be loaded. All samples and materials are cleaned and disinfected. The floor inside the isolator offers sufficient space for performing up to 15 tests. When loading the isolator, it is important to leave enough space between the materials. This ensures proper decontamination by hydrogen peroxide. A checklist must be used to verify the load. After closing the front door, the operator inflates the gasket by using the touchscreen. The glove extenders allow hydrogen peroxide to reach all surfaces of the glove sleeve assembly. Now the decontamination cycle is started. Before decontamination of the isolator, a leak test is performed. The isolator has three major segments, the air handling unit, the main chamber, and the support structure. The electrical cabinet and the pneumatic cabinet are attached to the side wall of the isolator. All relevant data for the process are continuously recorded. Hydrogen peroxide is the most widely used and accepted agent for isolator decontamination. Liquid hydrogen peroxide is pumped from the dosing station to the evaporator, where the liquid is converted into steam by flash evaporation. The steam is taken by the blower and pushed through the HEPA filter into the main chamber, where the hydrogen peroxide is distributed into the load. During the decontamination phase, hydrogen peroxide concentration remains constant. It is circulated in a closed circuit at low air velocity. After the decontamination phase, the flaps open and hydrogen peroxide is blown to the exhaust. Aeration continues until a safe concentration is attained. The makeup air for the ScanFog STI is taken from the surrounding atmosphere through a pre-filter and pushed into the working chamber through a HEPA filter. The FIPA filter in the exhaust air protects the catalytic converter from dust outside the chamber. All necessary measurement devices are located on the sidewall. The ScanFog STI is decontaminated by hydrogen peroxide using fogging technology. Hydrogen peroxide is sprayed with compressed air from the sidewall of the loaded chamber. After a defined holding time, hydrogen peroxide is removed by aerating the chamber with fresh air from the room. After passing the working chamber, the air is guided through a catalytic converter to remove the hydrogen peroxide. The compatibility of Sterotest Symbio pumps with hydrogen peroxide has been demonstrated using scan isolators. Four pump versions are available, including three canister versions compliant to Chinese pharmacopoeia. The SCAN Pharmaceutical Safety Isolator, or PSI, has a fast airlock. This enables the operator to transfer samples, tools, and auxiliaries into the main chamber without compromising the sterility of the process. Double-packed material can be used to reduce cleaning time and bio-burden load in the isolator. A trolley enables fast and easy material transfer. 
By closing the airlock, the gasket is automatically inflated. After 15 to 20 minutes, decontamination is complete and the airlock is aerated. The inner sliding door opens and the trolley is moved into the main chamber. After unloading, it returns into the airlock, which is now ready for the next transfer. As a leader in the life science industry, Millipor Sigma provides multidisciplinary scientific expertise and a broad portfolio of cutting-edge technologies, tools, and services for biopharmaceutical customers. A Millipore Sigma ICR settle plate for environmental monitoring is placed onto the working table. Isolators must also be monitored with an active air sampler for possible air contamination. After starting the MAS100 ISO-NT, the system collects 100 liters of air per minute for a defined and validated time. Usually one cubic meter is impacted on the media. The Sterotest pump head cover, drain tray, and bottle holder are installed. The Sterotest Symbio pump is designed to maximize safety and confidence while streamlining workflow. Its compact design preserves loading volume and testing space in the isolator. The pump's test method mode ensures test reproducibility through step-by-step -step operator assistance. Test methods are easily created and transferred with user-friendly Sterotest Symbio PC software. The pump displays valuable information, such as which Sterotest device is suitable for this assay. Speed is automatically adjusted to save time. After canister labeling, the Sterotest device is installed on the drain tray which is designed to minimize splashing. Automatic head closure eliminates the risk of glove pinching and ensures reliable splitting of the liquid sample. It is good laboratory practice for most testing protocols to start with a pre-wetting step using appropriate wetting fluid to prevent false negative results. The canister vents are closed with red plugs to create pressure, which starts the fluid filtration. After half of the fluid has been filtered in order to keep the membrane wet, the red plugs should be removed. Millipore Sigma offers a large portfolio of Sterotest devices optimized for secure sterility testing. Our solutions simplify your process regardless of container shape, challenging sample compositions like antibiotics and oily products, or if dissolution is required. The relevant pharmacopoeia defines the number of samples per batch to be tested. This is typically at least 20 vials. To prevent false positive or false negative results, it is mandatory to confirm the choice of the filtration device through a method development and documented validation. Two pressure modes, both of which include automatic pumping speed reduction, alert the operator, reducing the risk of test interruption and minimizing stress on any microorganisms that may be present. Eliminating product residues from the filtration device is key to prevent false negative results. Here, appropriate rinse fluids and correct rinsing procedures are essential for success. When the waste container is almost full, the Sterotest Symbio overfilling sensor warns the user via an audible signal and a visual alert on the pump screen without interrupting the test. 
To further facilitate your sterility testing routines, Millipore Sigma offers a range of Sterotest Symbio accessories, such as a syringe support, collapsible bag holder, or glass ampule breaker. The yellow plugs are placed and twisted to ensure perfect canister tightness. Most pharmacopoeias recommend two culture media to promote the growth of microorganisms. Cryptic soy broth is used to detect aerobic bacteria, yeast, and mold, while fluid thioglycolate medium is required for the detection of anaerobic and aerobic bacteria. The Sterotest Symbio pump head and the needle clamps are opened before closing the canister. This avoids trapping residual pressure in the canister. After finishing the test, the Sterotest canisters are checked for any abnormalities before they are unloaded from the isolator. At the end of the test session, contact plates are used for hygiene monitoring of the gloves. Now the settle plates are closed. The Sterotest canisters and the media from environmental monitoring are now ready to be incubated the waste can be discarded. The Sterotest canisters are placed inside the incubation chamber at the appropriate temperature. Gloves should be inspected frequently. A pressure hold test offers valuable information about the tightness of the glove and sleeve assembly. A test cover with an inflatable gasket provides an airtight seal of the glove sleeve assembly at the shoulder ring. All test data is transmitted wirelessly. RFID technology identifies the exact glove port number and position. A visual turbidity check is performed regularly during the two weeks incubation time, followed by a final check at the end of this period. A white and black background are used to detect slight signs of microbial growth, and results are confirmed by a second operator. The visual check is documented according to applicable procedures. Millipore Sigma and SCAN combine their trusted expertise to ensure safe and reliable sterility testing.